So we're going to talk about how to install EndNote library onto your computer. So the way this is going to work, this is going to be free software that the University of Arizona has a site license for. So you just need to go to the, uh, so start by going to the UAF website, scroll down um, until you see information for students, click on that, then um, scroll down again until you get to the section for study help computing support and labs click on that and then um, scroll down and now this time on the on the right side of the page you're going to see software and hardware and then software downloads so, and then click on software downloads um, you may need to in order to use this at home you might need to have uh, figure out how to do use key access for windows um, and or figure out how to VPN into the uh, how to VPN uh, into the university. Um, and if you need to work on that, you should contact OIT, the OIT Support Center. They can help you. Um, but for the purposes of, of this video, we're just going to keep right moving right along. Uh, so just click on Get Software. And then, depending on whether you're a Windows or Mac user, you can pick EndNote. Uh, it's on, should be on both lists. Yeah, EndNote and EndNote. So we'll say EndNote. And you're going to have to log in with your UAF uh, login. And then uh, just click on EndNote and um, install it. And there should be prompts that take you through how to install it. So. So once you have EndNote installed, um, let's let's so open it up, uh, create your library, and then let's see how to new, add a new reference. So in order to add a new reference, you would just click on this new reference, so like a little green plus, a uh, little green with a white plus uh, sign in it. And so this pops up. You can choose what kind of what kind of uh, information you're adding to your EndNote library. Um, uh, we'll just go with the journal article here and you know enter your your uh, your information here we'll just say that I published something in uh, well 2000 and, uh, 2011 with a title of I don't know whatever uh, journal volume also um, you can uh, add your own research notes. So in this research notes field, that's where you're going to annotate. Um, annotate once you read this. Once you read this paper, you can scroll down, add some notes in here, and that's how you can keep track. This is a this is all searchable. So uh, you want to keep, take good notes and keep them electronically. All right. So we're going to add that reference. So then you would just close it, click the red button here to close and save that new reference. All right. So um, another thing that you can do is that here's uh, you can create smart groups, which is interesting. Um, you can also preview your uh, reference. So say where you want to use this, we want to look at the how to this one. So you uh, you can just click on this preview and it will show you how you have it set up to to. Um, and you can copy and paste out of here if you just wanted to get the bibliographic information for that. Um, you can also search, um, and you can search uh, any field. You can search your PDF and your PDF notes. You can search the PDF. Um, you can search anything you any of the any of the sections in there. So this is a super flexible search uh, mechanism. So say we're going to search for. We're going to search for, oh, well, actually, let's not search for me. Let's search for root. So here's uh, all the papers that have uh, root as, a, as an author. You can search by anything you want. You can do all kinds of different ways. You can also attach a PDF. So say I want to attach a PDF. You just click on the reference, come here, say attach PDF. It's going to ask you to find that PDF file on your computer. And so you just go ahead and click on whatever it is. 
and um, it will save a copy of the, the PDF file both uh, as an in an attachment folder or it'll it'll both save the link to that as well as 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 pulling that PDF into your EndNote library so it'll be there um, let's see so hmm. another thing you can do is export uh, a bunch of the references into your EndNote library from one of the search engines um, through the library. So I personally use Web of Science, so we'll search for databases by title and then go to Web of Science. <clears throat> um, so then here let's search for Tellurium or TE as a topic. Um, author will say Harada and you can use stars. Um, it's actually worth it to spend a little bit of time figuring out how to search these uh, databases efficiently. So the, we, you can search by all kinds of different methods, title, author, topic, um, year published is one that I use a lot. Um, so then search. Here's a couple of, here's a couple of uh, references here. So say I want to look at this one, this one, and this one. Um, you can add these to your marked list and then look at your marked list and then you can export these to EndNote or um, sometimes this doesn't work that well so you can go into and save it as a plain text file and then it'll export it'll save on your desktop or wherever you tell it wherever your download type things save and then it, you can go back into EndNote and import those those references, those, those records. So you can import these into EndNote fairly easily. So that's another good way to not have to type everything in. Like if I had to type that whole long author list, I think I might go crazy. All right. So so EndNote actually has some fantastic tutorials. That's how I learned how to use EndNote. Um, so if any of the, if you want to do something that isn't covered or you want to know more about more functionalities that EndNote has, you can just go to their website uh, and, and watch some tutorials. There's a whole bunch and, uh, you know, I think it's a pretty, pretty good way to get started. All right, that's all.